If you are using an iPhone and if you want to share files, photos or videos through AirDrop on your Mac, then how can you do that? I'm going to guide you through each step. Before that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, before sharing files through AirDrop, you need to do some settings in your iPhone as well as your Mac. First of all, in your phone, go in settings, then go in Bluetooth option and make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on because if the Bluetooth is off, then you won't be able to share files through AirDrop. After that, once you turn on Bluetooth, go in your Mac Finder option because there are a few settings in the uh, Mac as well. Once you go in Finder, go in AirDrop option and over here, if the option is selected to contacts only, select that particular option and then select everyone. Now, if you don't find AirDrop option over here on the sidebar in Finder, you can go in Finder option at the top on the menu bar and then select settings. After that, you can go in sidebar option and make sure that the AirDrop option is checked because if it is not, then you can see it is not visible in the sidebar. So make sure this AirDrop option is selected so that we can access AirDrop in the Finder sidebar. Now everything has been done. Also make sure that the Bluetooth in your Mac is on so that there won't be any problem during the file sharing. Now let's get back to iPhone. Let's start the procedure. First of all, let's say if you want to share any particular photo. So now you can go in photos application in your iPhone and then select the particular folder from where you want to share the files. Now currently you can see there are multiple photos. Let's say for example, if I want to share this particular photo. So I'm going to open uh, that photo and there is a small share icon at the bottom, the one with the arrow and box. You can select that share option and then scroll down and over here you get an option of airdrop. So select airdrop option over here. Once you select airdrop in other devices, it will showcase all the uh, devices which are available to, you know, share the files through airdrop. So now currently you can see MacBook is visible over here. So you can simply select or tap on that particular option. And now over here, you can see we get a pop up on the Mac. So you can either decline the file or you can accept it. So let's accept this particular file. And now you can see the file has been shared. Now let's say if the airdrop option is closed like this, even if we have turned it on in the finder, you can see everyone is there. So let's close this for now. And let's try sending another file. So again, let's say for example, if I want to share this particular file or let's say I want to share this particular photo again, select share option, select airdrop and the device will be visible. Tap on the device name and this time you will get a notification over here on the top corner. So you can select this accept option. You can always check out where it is going to be saved. So it is going to be saved in downloads. So accept this, select save to downloads. And now once the file is shared, automatically downloads folder will be open. And now you can see this was the previous file which we have shared through AirDrop. Now one more thing, let's say if you want to share multiple photos at the same time. Now for that, what can you do? Again, let's go back to iPhone. Over here at the top, you get a select option. You can select that select option. And after that, you can select the photos which you want to share through AirDrop. After selecting the photos, all you need to do is Again, select share option, again airdrop. If the device name is visible under other devices, tap on the device name, you will get a pop-up notification like this. Select accept option and save to downloads. And when it, once it is done, it will showcase in the downloads folder. So this is how simple it is to share files through airdrop on your Mac. So if you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.